in this market, degrees are not mattering. Certifications are not mattering. Even referrals are not mattering. So when it comes to spending your money, spend it on quality resources and on a cloud account that you can get actual hands on. I don't think you need to pay for mentorship, for coaching, for a, for a boot camp, for anything like that, which is why we made Learn to Cloud. Earlier this year, we kicked off work to revamp Learn to Cloud. If you're not familiar with Learn to Cloud, it is, in my opinion, the best open source courseware to learn the fundamentals of cloud engineering. So if you're looking for a detailed and guided curricula to learn like a junior cloud engineer skill set, this is perfect for you. It's free. There are no ads on the guide. You don't need to sign up for anything. You don't pay us absolutely anything. My philosophy behind Learn to Cloud when I started it, which I started it around the same time when I joined Microsoft, was I truly don't think that money is the reason that people don't learn cloud. It's the lack of discipline and motivation. So I decided let's create this, let's put it out there, let's continuously update it, let's get other people involved. And now it's grown into a curricula that thousands of people visit every single week. Many people have landed jobs from it. I get messages about it all the time. And it's just not something that I necessarily care to like showcase all the time. Like, oh, look, this person got this job. I really don't care. And I think that's also the benefit of making it open source and free. Like, I don't feel like I have to justify people to, to do it. And the reality is that the people who have really committed to it uh, have seen some pretty great results. But the majority of people don't see it through. I think the majority of people start, maybe they'll stick around phase one, phase two, and then just don't see it through. And I think that is a harsh feeling to have for yourself. Like, let's say you commit to, like, I want to work, study two hours every day for a month. And then around week two, you like, you, you quit. And I don't think there's any worse feeling than quitting on yourself. Uh, so yeah, there's a couple of reasons why this I've made this free and open source. But anyway, we worked on fleshing this out a lot this year, and we've just finished. And where it's at now is where it's going to stay. Occasionally, we'll have some updates on like a couple of links, but generally, where the the guide is at now is kind of everything you need. I have debated adding an AI phase, like an AI ops or like AI in the context of cloud engineering. But I think I'm gonna either create a different guide for that or just use my YouTube channel, the AI YouTube channel to distill that information because that is changing so fast. Had I written a, it into the guide, like even two months ago, it would look completely different now. Plus, I like that this is like the foundational skills. Like, even though AI is becoming more and more of a thing, you still cannot land a job or even leverage AI to its full capacity without the foundations, which is in this guide here anyway. So we have a welcome page, of course. Why should I use it? The cost, the time. If you have any questions, we have a Discord for updates. Make sure to follow our social accounts and then I really like this thing. Oh, what do you need to know before starting? The only requirements are motivation and discipline. These are aspects we cannot provide for you. This is the, the biggest thing that when people say like, I want to pay for a boot camp," And my response always is like, at some point you're going to have to force yourself to learn things like the self-study. And it's easiest at the beginning in terms of like content, because there's a lot of beginner content. There's a lot of community around getting started and stuff like that. And that is a perfect time to build your ability to be motivated and disciplined. And why like sort of steal that by paying someone else to kind of either hold your hand or like keep you accountable. I just, I just think you really need to develop that ability to trust in your, in your skills and your motivation and discipline. And it's just, it's just easier when it's at the beginning, right? Because of the reasons of like, there's just more stuff around being a beginner, right? 
So anyway, if you have zero technical experience whatsoever, starting from zero, like if you've never like, I think if you've built a PC or you know how to build a PC, I think you'd be pretty fine moving straight into phase one. But if you have no technical experience whatsoever, you start here, you're going to have a bunch of introductory topics to go through and then potentially the A plus read here, more information around that. Then we have phases. We have phase one through phase five. They are meant to be done in order. Okay. If you have experience already, if let's say you're like a sysadmin with a lot of Linux experience, or you're a programmer with a lot of like Python experience, do, I would say don't skip the phases, go through them because the capstones build on each other. What do I mean by capstones? So we have the phases, right? We describe the phases, we talk about what we're going to go through, and then each topic will have something to study, some sort of action to do here, and then a couple of other tasks and things like that, and a little bit of a knowledge check down here. That follows the same thing. And then at the end of every phase, we have a capstone. For the Linux one, we have a CTF challenge, and then all of the information there too. So then once you're done, you move into the next phase, phase two, again, objectives, prerequisites, stuff like that. And then again, let's say you are an experienced Python dev. Okay, fine. Still go through the topics, make sure you're familiar with everything. And then the capstone, do the capstone. If you're an experienced dev, then you'll be able to figure that out. No problem. Because when you go to, for example, our phase, what is phase three, our capstone, it's telling us, oh, you're going to have to go ahead and deploy or work with the capstone that you did in the previous one. And I believe our phase four does the same. And yeah, they build on each other. So wherever you're coming in at that, I still think just go through them go through all of them highly recommend that we also have a security one this is actually going to change a little bit we're going to remove some content around that but it's still pretty good uh if you want to get into cloud security this one is like very very comprehensive for that uh and there are certain aspects that don't necessarily provide that are like maybe a little bit too much for like the level we're trying to uh reach with learner cloud uh, but still check it out. We're going to keep it in there for now. And yeah, each phase has resources, like a ton of resources. Like if you look at like, for example, let's click on, there's all of these are like links to official documentation or tutorials that we trust or have used or books that we have used. Very, very affordable. I think the, the, the most expensive thing you'll probably see is like a $40, $30 book or something like that. Because we want you to spend your money on the learning resources and on having a cloud account. Think about it this way. If you spent like, let's say $3,000 and $3,000 comes to my mind because someone told me uh, in the Learn to Cloud Discord, they wanted an opinion about a bootcamp that cost $3,000. That's why that mind, that number's on my mind. If you were to spend $3,000 on a, on your own like resources, first of all, let's cut that in like, more than half. Let's one third it. One grand. In six months, you can spend, you know, that much money on your books, courses, or whatever. And then you can spend that on having your own Azure account, your own AWS account, your own GCP account. I build projects all the time. I have never gone over 150 USD a month. I build many, many things all the time. So $1,000 can get you very, very far. I'd rather you put that towards your resources and your cloud account and then just follow the guide. Again, we make absolutely, I lose money on this. I have to pay the hosting. Uh, constantly, my free time is being spent updating it. My intention really is for you to just learn. There is no reason for you to learn. And I want it to be brutally obvious that the reason that you cannot learn this stuff is on you, right? It's not a price thing. It's not a resource thing, right? It's, it's, it's just you. There's no more excuses. You have everything you need to learn this stuff and succeed. So go and do it. All right, go check it out. It's all flushed out now. I'm very like, it's uh, from where it started to where it's now. I'm just so, 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 so proud of where Learn to Cloud has, has come. And then we're, 
probably going to, you know, continuously update it in terms of like, oh, if there's a better resource, we'll do that. Uh, but yeah, check it out. And let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video.